Welcome back to the channel everyone. I'm Indy and today we're going to be talking about the Harold Halibut demo. Harold Halibut is a handmade narrative game about friendship and life on a city-sized spaceship submerged in an alien ocean. It's been 250 years since your home, an arc-like spaceship, fled an earth on the verge of cold war to find a habitable, habitable planet to preserve the human race. So I played the Harold Halibut demo, which took me about an hour and a half. And I have to say, for a game that I've been waiting on for quite some time, my, my initial thought was a little worrisome. That was because I was like, man, um, this is pretty slow. I, I hope something happens soon. But, but I was in awe, though, uh, right away but just how awesome the game looks. It's absolutely beautiful. The character models and set pieces are amazing, and if you didn't know already, uh, this is done in stop motion. All the characters and the, mo the models and set pieces are built from the ground up. It's really, really cool to look at. Well, the game definitely gets its legs under it after the slow start and after you meet... Uh, more of the characters in the game besides Harold and he seems to be kind of a goofy guy that just can't seem to get things right at least well that's according to everyone else that he's around and this is where I started to fall for this game the humor is subtle with worded jokes kind of like when Harold is saying that he's going to be doing something, but he mixes up the words and has them out of order. This type of humor is spread throughout and reminds me of a mesh between Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy and Gentleman Broncos, which is two of my favorite comedies. The story also picks up after the slow starts, but it really had me intrigued. The story had me intrigued uh, right up until the cliffhanger where the demo ended. Uh, seriously, I'm... I'm pretty sure I said, oh, come on, man, like right after right after the uh, demo ended. So, you know, good one, devs. One thing you'll find a tad difficult in the game is traversing around. While All Water provides a nifty little water tunnel system to travel through, walking around you'll find yourself uh, getting stuck behind things at times. Like I said, it's a stop motion, so no cameras swinging around to get a better angle of what you're looking at. It's no biggie, but you know, I'm sure I'm sure you'll get used to it eventually. Other than that, the demo is short and sweet and really has me wanting to play this game so much more. Uh, of course, I was already excited to see what adventures lie ahead for Her Harold. But now, meeting all these cool characters and stuff that you see in the uh, game trailers and everything, I want to see more of where the story goes. Uh, what are the intentions of Allwater and what mysteries are there to uncover? Um, all this makes Harold Halibut a day one purchase for me. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. I had a uh, really good time with the short demo. It showcases just how much work that they've put into this game. It's it has it's a little rough around the edges in some areas. You know, I'm sure they have plenty of time to fine tune that. But the demo was awesome. I, the the voice actors are really cool in the game. The game looks amazing. The stop motion is so cool to you know see how all that came together um, with all the set pieces and stuff. So I'm excited to actually get to play this game. It looks so stinking cool. And the story where I got to just, I was like, come on. I just, I want to, I want to figure out what's going on. That was really cool. So yeah, I would uh, recommend going and checking out the demo on Steam right now. And hopefully we get a release date soon. So uh, yeah, go check it out. And um, let me know what you think in the comments below. And I will... uh Catch you guys in the next video.